Hey friends, welcome back to my thrifted lifestyle blog. I'm not really sure what happened to the end of 2021 and my videos started falling short, but my new year's resolution is it is now 2022 and I am going to bring you a monthly video where we take something that would probably most likely end up in the trash or it was thrifted and turn it around into something awesome that we are excited to use today. I am finally excited to bring you into my studio. Uh, this is where a lot of the magic happens. Uh, for a long time it was just full of my crap and not organized, like up here still needs a little love, but and a little under there, but I actually organized a lot. Um, and my makeup also needs to be organized like really bad. Um, but the clothes are all nice. So these are all clothes that this top rack actually um, they either need to be redone or they are just waiting for a next season and they're going to be on thriftedboutique.com. But um, these over here are costumes I use for films and TV shows and theater and all of that because that's another thing that I do. And if you think that's cool, you should check out my other page, which is Chanel Francis. And that's where I do all kinds of transformations. So that's what those are for. But this bottom rack here that moves... And this stuff down here and all of this, yep, that's either been on Thrifted Boutique and it's either still going to be sold or it's going to be transformed into something else. So these are my new sewing machines. We're going to have a video all on those soon. Um, but for now, those are just there. And today, we're going to transform this mirror that used to be in my childhood bedroom. As Tom's were, you know, the thing, and I loved rubber duckies. I'm going to strip it down, clean it, and we are going to add gems to it. And I have a bunch. This, 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 and a bunch of other bins that are actually inside this craft closet right here. And I will show you that we are going to bedazzle this baby. All right, so we have the supplies. You're going to want a ventilator or a mask of some sort because I am inside and the ventilation is okay in here. Um, but just in case, I'm going to wear my mask because I'm going to use E6000 to, in order to put the gems on here. And we have our big collection back here. And the mirror. And I'm going to use these disinfectant wipes because I have them. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this on up. Yep, as I should have known. You probably should have used Windex and not one of those wipes, but I'm just going to go ahead and use some toilet paper <clears throat> to help with the streakage here. Exactly, we want to put on here. Let's just all right, let's find these goodies. Uh, I'm definitely looking for these metal pieces. I think that metal around this will be gorgeous and I really am looking for that. I am going to steer clear of big pieces like this that may require a lot of dissembling. I'm willing to cut some chains and have some dissembling 
that's needed, but there are so many really cool metal pieces in here that are easy to get to. Okay, well that's pretty. I remember the day I bought that at a thrift store when I lived in Manesson, Pennsylvania when I was going to makeup school. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna go through all of these and I'm gonna pick what I want and put back in the baskets what I don't for another project. Okay, I've gone through it all. There are some things in the baskets, um, but I have all these pretty pieces out. I feel like this is an I spy page. It's like, I spy a heart. But anyway, <laughs> I have all of these and I just wanted to point out this gorgeous necklace real quick. I didn't realize I had that. I wish it was in better shape or else I would just leave it as is. But unfortunately, the chain is in pretty yucky condition on the back. It would definitely do some damage to your skin. There's this one too. But there are so many pretty things that I'm about to attach. old mirror we're gonna wait at least 24 hours I'm gonna come in here tomorrow and see where we're at clean up the mirror and see if all of these took see you tomorrow all right it's been over 24 hours and it's looking great there are a few beads that are not fully attached so anything that's not sturdy I'm just going ahead and removing it and checking all of the rest of them and a lot of them seem to hold really, really well. In here and try to get any of this glue that is not holding on to a gem. And it pretty easily peels up once you grab it. Takes a hot second to grab it though. So I went ahead and bought some more E6000 because I used the two other tubes by gobbing up the edges and I needed another tube to go in and do the fine detail. So we see that some of them didn't take here and I'm gonna have to go back in and glue those back on. And there are a couple dirty edges too that the glue is hard to take off, so I'm going to cover those with more gems as well. So instead of just gobbing on the glue like I did last time, I'm going to try to carefully put the glue on the actual gem and then put it right in the spot. That way all the final details are as clean as they possibly can be. E6000 is super messy. So I am definitely trying my best and I may go in with some black paint to 
bring out some of the background and to cover some of my glue. So I did decide to go in with some spray paint. Uh, I'm using the dry brush method where you spray the spray paint into like a cup and take the brush. Um, some of the spots are definitely not dry so I keep going over those spots to have them blend out. And I really do like the way the black is making the background pop and hiding all of my boo-boos because, you know, sometimes you just gotta make it work. <laughs> And of course while we're at it, let's uh, spray paint the back because the back kind of looks like poop and I want the whole thing to look nice. Which includes me using toilet paper to create texture on the back. Alright, after many repairs that um, were not much cleaner <laughs> than the last one, and some black spray paint. We have a pretty mirror that needs to dry. So I'm gonna leave this for another 24 hours. I'm gonna be back and I'll show you what she looks like. Okay, just kidding, it's not tomorrow yet, but I went in with another disinfectant wipe to just try to clean up some of my boo-boos and I'm actually achieving the look I want. So with the black that I was edging the entire thing with, I kind of want it to look kind of like smoky, kind of magical, mystical looking. And so what I'm doing is, I'm not taking away all of the black, but I am cutting it back. So that it is more of a shadow and not taking over the whole mirror. So, after I finish that, it will be left for 24 hours and I will come check in on it. But, alright, see you tomorrow. Okay, day three. And this project is almost finished. I went ahead, did the finger check, kind of lightly pulling on any of these beads so I know that they're not going to easily fall off. Obviously, if you went at it and pried it, they will come off. But this E6000 does a pretty awesome job at sealing this all down so you're not too worried about losing any of these pieces. So, we're going to talk about this. And what we're going to put here, I have this beautiful little elephant here that I'm going to attach to that. And we're going to figure out if this earring or this earring works better. So let's see. It's too bulky. That part doesn't fit through. So let's try this little one. Definitely not as strong as the other one. So what we'll do is once we get it in there, we'll squeeze it. And there she is. Uh, at first I was thinking I was just going to leave it, but that's kind of an irritating sound. And so I am going to E6000 that down as well. It's pretty deep. There's like a well in there. So I want to make sure that I have enough E6000 without going over too much. But I do want to make sure that this will stick down. And I kind of only have one shot because I don't really want to destroy this. So here we go. Oh yeah. Like that. We don't want to do that. But I am going to press it all the way down and then clean it up after because I really want this to hold nice. So we'll let that sit. And again, unfortunately I do have to leave that for another 24 hours just because I did a tiny alteration to keep that elephant in place. But such is life. Okay, on to cleaning this up. I have these little makeup old school spongy things that I have a few that I've actually gotten pretty yucky and I'm not going to put them on someone's face. So I'm going to use that to clean this up. It's more 
working pretty good, actually. I'll just scrape that little stuff up easier afterwards because it won't be in this huge clump. So, this is working. This is working pretty good. All right. All right, back in with the disinfectant wipes. I'm going to go around and clean up those edges so I can get nice and tighter in there. We don't see all this glue. Careful not to move your little emblem. All right, so I just used these disinfectant wipes because I had them, but these are awesome for taking this stuff off while it's still wet. Dry too, actually. So I did have to add an extra little bit of black to the back of it as well. Um, it is a weird plastic that doesn't like to take spray paint well, but it still looks much better by just having this black backing instead of the white and the pink and all the other colors it had going on. Alrighty. Wow. What an adventure. She's all done. After three days, because E6000 takes forever to dry, we have this beautiful magical mirror that I am so in love with. I actually think I got a makeup inspired by it, so you'll definitely have to check out my other YouTube channel, Chanel Francis, in order to see what I'm going to do with this. I'm getting complete snow light mirror mirror on the wall vibes and oh i'm so happy it truly is amazing what we can do with pieces that we thought were going to go into the trash and turn them into something magical and bring back life to it that we just we were missing in it originally like I love this elephant unfortunately it has nickel in it and I'm allergic to nickel but it sure does look pretty on this mirror and you know guys just remember it's super important to recycle what we already have instead of adding to the waste that we have already in this contemporary world. And a great way to do that is take a bunch of the other stuff and make one beautiful thing like this here. Thanks for watching Thrifted Lifestyle and be sure to check out www.thriftedboutique.com for shopping and blogs and videos and all the good stuff and patterns that I'll also be adding this year. And Thanks so much for watching and I hope you get inspired to create yourself. See you later. Bye.